Good morning, you guys. I was going to vlog yesterday, but I had so much going on. Um, my mom is actually sick, and I had to drive my dad back and forth because my mom is usually the one that does that. And so I had a busy day yesterday going to church and taking my dad back to afternoon service. For those of you that don't know, my dad is a pastor. So I had to take him back and forth to church yesterday and, you know, um, run the errands for their household. So I got a late start to Vlogtober, but it's never, it's better late than never. So I'm glad that I'm able to get up this morning and show you guys a typical day um, in my life to start off my Vlogtober. So right now it is 5.56 a.m. in the morning. I just got up and dropped my dad off at dialysis. Um, he goes to dialysis Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And for those of you that don't know what dialysis is, um, dialysis is basically the treatment that people have to receive when they are going through kidney failure. Um, most of the time, most of them um, receive that before they get a, trans a kidney transplant, which my dad is waiting to do that. Um, so just going through that process. If you guys want to know more about his journey, just comment down below and I'll do some more videos vlogging about him and his journey um, going through the transplant and things like that. Um, but right now, I'm just, I just dropped him off. Dialysis isn't too far from my house. So I'm driving back home. I'm going to stop at McDonald's um, and get grab some breakfast before I have to go back home and start getting my daughter ready for school this morning. So usually in the mornings, I just wake up. And um, on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, right now, when my mom is down, um, well, sick, I take my dad to dialysis. Most of the time, I'm just now getting off work i get off work at seven but most nights i can get off early in time to get him to dialysis if not i usually just get off in time to take my daughter to school so my daughter has to be to school the latest is 7 45 her school opens up at 7 20 so that's just how our morning goes i go home usually i get her up around 6 30 give her time to get herself together and do whatever she needs to do um and make sure she gets some breakfast or if she doesn't want breakfast at home and she wants a school breakfast like on days that they serve like the little cinnabons and stuff i'll get her to school in time um that's about it basically so i'm pulling up to mcdonald's now getting ready to get some breakfast and get the day started all right so i'm out of mcdonald's you guys I'm getting ready to pull up at home shortly. I had to make another quick detour. I went and I decided I'm just gonna surprise my daughter with lunch today. So I went to the store and went ahead and just picked her up some lunch. I can go in the house and pack her backpack before I wake her up. I usually, she um, actually carries her lunch like almost every day. Um, it depends on what's on the menu. Um, I didn't even look at the menu this weekend to know what's on the menu. I just went ahead and got her lunch because she really likes taking her lunch regardless sometimes regardless of whatever they have at school she just likes being a lunchbox because one you know when you're a lunchbox you get to sit down before everybody else and she likes picking a good seat in the cafeteria so at mcdonald's i just got a sausage biscuit this ice um, mocha an uh, ice mocha latte and then i have a hot pumpkin spice latte that's not mine i don't eat anything pumpkin i love fall and everything but I don't do anything pumpkin. I just don't like the taste of it. Call me weird, you guys, but I just don't like the taste of anything pumpkin. I'm, um, when Thanksgiving comes around, I'm a sweet potato kind of girl. I don't do pumpkin pie. I don't do pumpkin drinks. I rarely like pumpkin scents, like the pumpkin candles that everybody loves. I rarely like it. It depends on where it's from. If it's too strong of pumpkin, don't bring that near me. But I can stand a pumpkin scent for the fall, but that's about it. I remember growing up, I didn't eat pumpkin either, but I did like the pumpkin seeds that come in the bag, like sunflower seeds. Um, I did like those. I just remember them being really salty and not really having a pumpkin taste to it. But that's about it, you guys. So I'm just driving now down the road. It's a long road to my house. Um, I hate driving on this road, actually, you guys, because it's always deers. No matter the time of the year, I swear the deers to stay out here. And it's never just one deer. It's always like, I, I was about to say hundreds. Like, I literally know it's not hundreds of deers. But it feels like that when you're driving because you'd be so paranoid that you're going to hit one. But it's, um, it's always like either four or five deers. And then they don't move out the way. You know, deers will just jump and they, like, they expect you to move. 
So I'm, I am be paranoid about stuff like that, especially when I get off at third shift. And sometimes that I get off, it's still dark outside. Oh, honey, I be paranoid because where I stay at, it's nothing but trees. Like literally trees and houses. That's it. So, of course, the deer's just hiding between everybody's houses. But these deer's over here, they're disrespectful. Because the other morning I was coming out the house, honey, they was in the yard and jumping across the street to the neighbor's yard. And then they just stop and look at you like, come outside if you want to. Yeah, these deer's disrespectful, honey. Real disrespectful. But I'm getting ready to go in here and get my daughter dressed. And well, I gotta figure out her clothes because I was lazy. Let me tell you something. I was lazy this weekend. One Friday, my brother graduated. Yay! I might insert um, a little clip here or in another vlog letting you know about my brother's journey. He graduated from boot camp, and I'm so so proud of him. He was headed down the wrong path um, as a boy, and I really really hate it. But I'm so glad that he got himself together and he was able to decide that he wanted to do something with his life. So I am so glad that he um, was ha given a chance to, for this opportunity. And um, he graduated Friday and we had to go down Friday. Um, so that was really nice. Saturday, again, my mom is sick. So Saturday I had to run all of their errands. And I'll meet, mind you, I'm trying to catch up all of my sleep from working third shift because I got off Thursday night. I didn't even have time to do anything but shower and change and get on the road straight to my brother's graduation. Got from there. You know, you, parents always got to get something to eat after a big thing. And then got home and I slept for a couple hours before I had to be to work Friday night. So, I, Saturday, I tried to use that day to catch up on my sleep. Mind you, I still had to run for my mom. And then Sunday, get up, church in the morning, church in the afternoon. And I got some sleep um, last night. Thank you, Jesus. I was able to get a little bit of sleep. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some more sleep before I head to work tonight. But get ready to go in here and get my daughter. I'm pulling up in my driver, you guys. So let me put the car in park. I'm getting ready to go and get my daughter ready for school. And I'll show you guys um, our trip to school and dropping her off. And then the rest of the day. So you guys, we are on our way to school. Kamora is already up and dressed and has her lunch and her backpack packed. And we are already in the car on the road headed to school. She's sitting back there with her brother until I drop her off. And I also have to take my little sister Brianna to school as well. She is in middle school. She's in eighth grade this year, getting ready to go to ninth grade, which I am not ready for. But both of my girls here have a YouTube channel. I will leave the links down to their YouTube channels down below so that you guys too can subscribe to them. Kamora's channel is basically kids life, um, just the things that she does as a kid, dancing, science experiments such as making slime and other things, and also just a little kid talk. Brianna's channel is basically gonna be about nails, a teenager, and whatever else she chooses. I totally don't know what I was gonna be on her channel, but you guys just follow the links down below and subscribe to their channels. And I'm getting ready to drop them off and then I'll probably get something to eat for breakfast and get my day started with Carter. All right, you guys, so we are back home from dropping the kids off. I stopped and got me some breakfast. I do not like the typical breakfast food, the eggs, the bacon, the sausage, and pancakes. Breakfast food, for some reason, just makes me nauseous, and I'm really just sick and tired of it from eating it as a child. So, usually for breakfast, I'll stop and get some Subway. And I have today the rotisserie chicken on Italian bread um, with all the veggies. I love jalapenos. I have extra jalapenos. And I also have a cup of sweet onion teriyaki sauce. And I'm just drinking my berry punch fuse with it. And I'm getting ready to work on some vlogging and write down ideas and plans in my planner for the rest of the month. I've already put little man down. He's down for his morning nap. Um, he usually takes a nap right after I get back from taking the kids to school. And he'll wake up in a couple probably maybe about 10 30 it's 8 37 now he'll wake up in about about 10 30 to eat and then we'll play a little bit and he usually gets ready for his afternoon nap before i have to pick his sister up from school so get ready to plan a little vlogs and 
wait to get his sister from school. So you guys, it's now later on in the day. Um, as you can tell, I didn't get up. Um, well, I've been up and I've already gotten dressed or whatever. I just threw on some sweats and a t-shirt. It's pretty nice today, a little windy. Um, but from this morning to today, I've just been lazy because it's Monday. Nobody wants to do anything on Monday, let's be honest. But, you know, I am up. It's now 3.13. Um, I'm on my way to get my little sister from school. And then I have to go around the corner and get Kamora from school. Kamora stayed after school for Go Far. She is training for the 5K race that they have coming up on November the 4th. They are going to be having a 5K race. And she's training for that with her school. So she stays at the school for that um, twice a week. And um, she's doing really good in that. I'm so proud of her. I honestly didn't know that my daughter could run as fast as she can. She's beat out all of the girls in her class. Well, the group is third through fifth graders. And she's beating out all of the girls. And she is um, behind, I think, two or three boys. But she is really, really fast. And I'm so proud of her. And I'm glad that she's enjoying it. Because most kids, you know, they get really tired easily. And being that Kimora has really bad asthma, I was kind of scared of how she was going to do with Go Far. But she's doing pretty well. So I'm on my way now to go get Brianna, like I said, from the middle school. Um, hope she had a good day. I shall see. And then I'm going to get my daughter. Typically on Mondays, Mondays is, you know, my preparation for the rest of the week. So typically on Mondays when Kamori gets out of school, she gets to take a break. She does homework. Um, after her break, I give her a 30-minute break every day after school. <clears throat> Sometimes on Mondays, she'll have an hour break before she does her homework just to give mom time to prepare because during her break, I get her clothes, the rest of her clothes out for the week if I didn't do it over the weekend. And I lay out my work clothes for the week because I start going to work on Monday nights because my schedule is Monday through Friday but technically once I get to work it's basically like I work Monday through Saturday because I get off on Saturdays but um, yeah I go ahead and I lay all of our stuff out around this time go ahead and make sure the week is out sign all the papers on her folder make sure everything is good to go to school for the rest of the week and I jot down because usually of course being the first of the month they go ahead and send home the calendars as to what's going to happen the rest of the month so I like to go ahead and fill out my calendar with everything that's happening and to go ahead and, you know, in my calendar, write down any money that's needed this month, such as field trips, pictures, just picture day this month, I know for sure. And they also have this event coming to their school where there are animals coming, where they get to take pictures with the animals. I know some choices would be they can hold a python, a little baby python or a baby kangaroo and take those pictures with them. So that is one thing that she has going on. Um, this month so far and they also have red red ribbon week which we're going to vlog about when it gets here if you don't know what that is it's the anti-bullying they well today october's anti-bullying month and then red week is for kids to pledge to be tobacco and drug free and um we're going to record some of that every all the attempts all of the activities that she do for school we're going to try to record on her channel and my channel as well for the month of october um so yeah like i said um it's afternoon after school this is just basically what we do pick up go home get everything laid out and get ready for the week monday is like downtime day for everybody so it's kind of perfect